Leading into the 1930s, there were a number of scandals. Lives and reputations were destroyed, exacerbated by greedy newspaper publishers and unscrupulous reporters who manufactured scandalous news to sell their rags. They didn't care who they hurt as long as it sold more papers. Yellow journalism, as it was known, is a type of journalism that presents little or no legitimate well-researched news and instead uses eye-catching headlines to sell more newspapers. This is something that still exists today with the women's magazines printing all manner of trash and people continuing to buy it regardless. William Randolph Hearst owned 28 newspapers in 18 key cities of the United States which were read by more than 20 million Americans. He was prepared to crucify people regardless of guilt and bully others to ensure they jumped to his tune. Hearst was not squeaky clean himself but he had the power to prevent publication of matters he did not endorse. There was the case of a film pioneer who mysteriously died on his yacht in 1924. This was Thomas H. Ince. Ince was an American silent film producer, director, screenwriter and actor. He was known as the father of the Western and was responsible for making over 800 films. It was alleged that the full details of his death failed to receive a thorough coverage in Hearst's newspapers and he was cremated without an autopsy. One high-profile victim of Hearst's flawed newspaper coverage was Roscoe, Fatty Arbuckle, an American silent film actor, comedian, director and screenwriter. He was arrested for the rape and manslaughter of actress Virginia Rapp. This he defended in three widely publicised trials between November 1921 and April 1922. The jury was deadlocked in the first and second trials. Finally, in a third trial, the jury decided in five minutes that the case was bunk and that he was not guilty. Acquittal is not enough for Roscoe Arbuckle. We feel that a great injustice has been done him, the jury foreman told the court. Despite Arbuckle's acquittal, the scandal had mostly overshadowed his legacy as a pioneering comedian. With his films banned and he publicly ostracised, Arbuckle never recovered from all the bad press. Decades after his death, three of his comedic descendants, John Belushi, John Candy and Chris Farley, had considered playing the silent screen pioneer, but all died before they could make the movie to set the record straight. William Desmond Taylor was an Irish-born American director and actor who was murdered on the 1st of February 1922 after being shot in the back. As a result of investigations that followed, it was soon disclosed that his actress girlfriend had a cocaine dependency which tarnished her reputation. The murder went unsolved. A spate of newspaper-driven Hollywood scandals during the early 1920s included Taylor's murder, the Roscoe Arbuckle trial. The death of actress and former Ziegfeld girl Olive Thomas, the mysterious death of silent film producer, director, screenwriter and actor Thomas H. Ince, and the drug-related deaths of actor Wallace Reed and actress Barbara Lamar. And former Ziegfeld girl, stage and film actress Jean Eagle. Eagles was a beautiful stage actress who caused a scandal on Broadway with her erotic performance as Sadie Thompson, the hooker, in Rain. Her film career started promisingly, but her secret drug addiction became increasingly difficult to conceal. By the time she made her last film, her arms and legs were distressingly thin and she looked like a blonde skeleton. She died at 35. A 1957 biography on Jean Eagles from Columbia Pictures starred Kim Novak and Jeff Chandler. These activities prompted Hollywood studios to begin writing contracts with morality clauses allowing the dismissal of contractees who breached them. 